Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another photo card organization type video. So I have a few photo cards over here that I'm going to be putting away. Plus I also have finally the um, Hash Showcase photo cards from the Luna showcase they did for the most recent mini album Hash. Um, so I'll be putting those away as well. I'm going to do that last though because there's like 66 of these um, and that'll take a minute. So I'm going to do the, my other cards first. Um, and then we'll do those. So I'm going to start off with these Itsy cards. So I'm going to get everything out of the way. So I have a few Itsy cards I'm going to put away. Um, I guess I'll show you guys. So I have the Reugen, um, is that in focus? Yeah, so I have the Reugen um, Black Border card. Um, and then I have the Yuna and Reugen card. And then the Reugen and Leah card. So... I was supposed to get the Yeji and Region card on Friday. It said it was delivered in my mailbox, but my post office person, this is now the fifth package um, that they said that they've delivered and is not in my mailbox in the past two weeks. Um, so I don't know if they're like stealing my mail. Like I, it, my, it doesn't, you know, when these photo cards come in, they don't look exciting. Like, you know what I mean? They look like just a little, little package. So what am I doing? I'm trying to find Itsy. Um, so I don't think, like, it wouldn't make sense for them to be stealing it, but it's also, like, I never had a problem, and I've lived in this apartment complex, like, going on four months now, and I literally never had a problem until the week of the 23rd of March. That was when those Namjoon um, photo cards got marked as delivered, and then since then, there's been, like, three other packages that have been, like, marked as delivered that I have not received. So, I'm like really annoyed honestly um, about the whole situation and I went to the post office last week and they pretty much told me to call the um, like the 1-800 number or whatever um, so I'm going to do that I guess um, I tried to do it today but today's Sunday and the fucking place is closed like they closed the the um, customer service call center on Sunday as well apparently like it's not just the that the post office itself is closed. So I'm going to either call them tomorrow or Tuesday. But it's, like, really frustrating because, like, you know, like, these Etsy cards, whatever. Like, these things cost $10, so I can just get another one. But, like, one of them was one of my, um, like, one of the things they said that um, they marked as delivered was one of my um, BTS Live on Stage cards, which cost, like, $45. Like, <laughs> I really need them to, like, deliver the stuff they say they are delivering, and I need to, them to put it in the right mailbox. But anyway, that was kind of a rant. Um, I'm almost done with Region other than the freaking Yeji card, I think. Oh, and the Cheyun card. So I'm missing two cards for Yujin, and then I'm still missing a few for Yeji. Um, I have ordered all the ones for Yeji. But some of them are coming from South Korea, so they're going to take, like, 100 years, like all the other stuff I ordered from there. Um, let's move on. Let's do these couple BTS cards, and then we will do the big stack of hash showcase cards. So I have a few um, album cards. So I have this J-Hope um, version 1 card. I have the Jimin version 3 card, and then I have the Namjoon version 4 card. So I ended up repurchasing the Namjoon, like, the two Namjoon cards and the version 4 group card that I, like, haven't received, even though they said they've been delivered. Um, because I found them for, like, a pretty reasonable price. Um, so I just went ahead and repurchased them. I figured if I get the card actually delivered um, by the post office, I can either return it to the eBay seller or I can just sell it myself for the same price that I bought it as. Um, but I'm just like really tired of like, I'm really tired of photo card collecting at the moment just because this issue with my mail. Like it's making me like really annoyed because like every time now when I get to check my mail, something is missing and like it just ruins my whole day. Like when something like that happens, like it just, it just really annoys me because it's like basic shit and like this is this person's job and they can't even like do it right. like. Sorry, I'm like, I know I keep ranting about this, but like, it's so frustrating. Especially like, it, it's one thing if it's one package over the course of like, you know, a few months or a year or whatever. Like if it's one, if it's one package, like whatever, like life happens, like things like that happen. Like something like that happened in my old apartment. 
but it's the fact it's happened five times over the course of like two weeks. That's just driving me insane. Anyway, I finally did complete the Memories of 2018 Blu-ray card, so here were the last three I needed. So I got Jin, Yoongi, and Jungkook. I'm just happy none of these, like, it seems to keep happening to like my cheap cards that I'm buying. So like my Namjoon cards, which were like $15, um, my Yeji and Region card, which is like $10. Um, I forget what the other cards were. I think one of my Yeji and Yuna cards, that was also like $10. Um, like the most expensive card was the Jin um, Epilogue card, which, um, yeah, that one was like $45. Um, but anyway, Taeyong goes here. And then we also got Jin for the Sao Paulo Love Yourself, Speak Yourself bookmark. So now I'm gonna call, call them tomorrow and see what's up because the, most of them all I'm fine repurchasing. I really just don't want to have to repurchase the fucking um, Jin epilogue card because that's like, like I said, like 45 or $50. So um, looking at what I still am missing. So the Yingi card I think is coming from South Korea and it's taking like, it's so weird. Some of the stuff I've ordered from South Korea, the people ship it like within a few days and it pretty much proceeds like normal when I order stuff. Other stuff, they're like, oh yeah, I dropped it off at the post office on like the 20th of March. And like, it hasn't made any kind of progress in terms of tracking. Like it's still sitting somewhere in South Korea. So I think that's what's happened with this one. Cause that's what happened with a few of these cards. Like, I'm pretty sure some of, like one of these came from South Korea. Like I think this one came from South Korea and it got here real, like really fast, like the same, time and normally take stuff from South Korea to get here but other stuff because of the virus it's like being really slow so it seems to like be affecting things like not evenly across all of my packages so I still have a few things obviously I'm waiting on for BTS hopefully they actually get delivered like <laughs> I like almost like I want to complain I think I'm gonna call the 1-800 number, see what happens with that. But like, I honestly like want to complain to like this person's boss. Like it's ridiculous. Like normally I wouldn't care this much, but it's just like, because it's so frequent. Like I was saying, like if it's once or twice, whatever, but like five times is like excessive. Okay, anyway, let me stop complaining about that. So I'm gonna open up the hash showcase cards, get them all out. So there's six per member. So that gives me 66. Um, I will go through all of them and then I will put them away in the uh, sleeves. So let's get started. So we start off with Heejin. So I like really like these cards, which is one of the main reasons I bought them. Like I was kind of thinking about buying them anyway, but once I saw um, some like Korean Orbits um, post the pictures of them I was like oh these are actually really nice one thing I don't like about this though is I don't like the fact there's so many of them like that kind of sounds stupid but like like these Hyunjin cards are like all really similar and stuff like that like they really could narrow this down to like two or three cards per member and it would still be really nice um I think the Yojin cards are really like really good they're really pretty especially this one I like this one a lot um, but yeah, like some of these, especially for certain members, like certain members, I feel like do different, like each of the cards is really different, but other members, it's like all of the cards are like the same. And I'm like, either they need to get like different selfie like poses or they just need to do fewer cards. But I really like this card of Vivi. I like all of her cards, but especially this one. I think her cheeks look really cute. <laughs> yeah, I think Vivi has a really good set. I really... I would like these Kim Lip cards, but honestly, her contacts are, like, a little bit freaky to me. Like, <laughs> the really blue, like, really light blue eyes are, like, kind of scary. But I think her, like, her face and everything looks really pretty. On Jin Soul. 
I like wasn't a big fan of her hair like with the bangs but it's really grown on me like over over the promotion period for so what and now I kind of like it I really like Cherry's cards as well I think they're really pretty I like I really like this one it's funny like you start like Cherry always does this face like you start like really recognizing like and this face as well like th those two are like her most common selfie faces Eve is like pretty much the whole reason I bought this set. Like her cards are the best in here. Especially like uh, these, like with this outfit. Yeah, the best cards. Eve was almost the reason I was gonna buy the um, My Music Taste cards, just cause I liked her um, card the best. But I still don't think I'm gonna buy those. Like I really like the way they look, but I don't really wanna get into the habit of buying this kind of cards. Um, I really just want to stick with like the album cards or the ones directly from like BBC. Um, that's a really cute card too. But yeah, I don't really want to get in the habit of like buying the third party cards for like any of my groups. Because um, like I think that's kind of a slippery slope for me. <laughs> like I'd end up buying stuff that I might not otherwise want to. Yeah, these cards are really nice. And I really like Olivia's cards, especially like her second set of um, like these. Mm, that's really pretty. But yeah, that is all the cards. So now I will put them all away and hopefully my camera doesn't die while I do this. But I'll try and do it quick so my camera doesn't die. Um. What else can I talk about? I ranted about my post office for like a good 10 minutes. I'm only missing one of the um, Hash album cards at this point. It's the Olivia version B. Um, and that's another one where I reached out to the seller on eBay and I was like, hey, like what's been going on? Because the tracking hasn't updated since like the 20 whatever of March. And they said that they dropped it off and everything, but because of the situation with COVID, they, the post office is like not doing very many like international um, departures like on airplanes. So it's taking longer than anticipated. And I was like, okay, I can be patient. Like as long as people like drop the stuff off, like if it's with the post office, it's with the post office, but like, I don't know. I'm like suspicious of some people on eBay because I had one instance one time where the person, they said they sent it and it never changed from like tracking number updated or whatever. Like the very, very first step, like when someone prints a label, like it never changed from that. And eventually I had to like get eBay involved to like get my money back. So now I'm like suspicious, I guess, of everyone. But I'm trying to give everyone the benefit of the doubt, obviously, because it's like not anyone's fault what's going on you know and it's not the seller's fault if the post office is taking forever like even the usps is taking forever like obviously like my local post office is shitty but like even just like when i sent um i sold my final um copy of plus plus the other like last week and i dropped it off on like the 29th and it didn't even get delivered until like yesterday or the other day like it took i think either a week or a little bit over a week to get delivered and typically that stuff gets delivered in like three or four days um so everyone is a little bit slower than normal everyone's feeling it i'm definitely feeling it work is busy as fuck so, which is you know a good thing i guess I hope the next time Luna um, releases a mini album and they do these kind of like showcase photo cards, they actually release them online and they release enough to where people can actually buy them and they don't get sold out within like three minutes. Because that's what happened this time. That's why I had to buy it from some dude on eBay. It was because I tried to buy it online, but they literally got sold out like while I was, like while I was trying to find the listing. <laughs> um, it literally got like sold out, so. Hopefully next time they stock enough 
But that seems to be an ongoing issue with BBC that they don't stock enough of anything, but you know. Whatever. Okay, final row. Okay. So that is all of them. Today I'm going to have another um, photo card organization type video, I guess is what I've been calling these. Because um, I have quite a few photo cards I'm going to go through. Um, I don't have any Luna today. I have Chang'e, Itzy, and BTS. I have a lot of BTS, so um, I'm going to go ahead and get started with Chang'e and Itzy because they're going to be in this binder. So I will show you guys the cards as I put them away because for most of these I did not open them on camera um, because I've kind of stopped doing that because a lot of what I'm purchasing now is from Mercari so I need to open it right away so I can rate the seller um, and I cannot like I don't get the cards like all on the same day so I can't do them all together so that's kind of why I've been doing that but here are some Chunga cards so I recently kind of decided to maybe like dip my toes into collecting Chunga cards um, so I went ahead and bought um, the cards from her most recent album so these are from Flourishing so we have this one. This one is like the rarest one and I was actually really lucky. I got a really good price on it um, off of a seller on Depop. And there's the back. And then here's the other one. And then I bought this one off Mercari, I think. I'm still waiting on the fourth one because the one that I already had, I already had this one, which I guess I will pull out and show you. So this is the one I pulled like with the actual album. Um, so... I already had this one, so I'm just waiting on the one where she's in like the white outfit with the braids. Um, and then I will have all of the ones for flourishing. And I'm going to kind of see where, how I want to go with her. Because Chung is like one of my favorite um, Korean idols in general. Um, so I kind of want to collect her cards, but she's a little bit hard to collect just because her album's like... She's not like an idol group, you know, where if I want to collect BTS cards, it's really easy because they've sold like 4 million albums and the albums are all still in print. But like Chunga, a lot of her albums either aren't in print or um, she's only sold, you know, maybe 5,000 of them. So the like supply just isn't as great. So it's a little bit more difficult to collect her. And especially if I want to go back and collect like pre Gotta Go, because I have the cards that came with the Gotta Go single because I actually bought that album when it came out. Um, so if I want to like get the albums like for um, like Blooming Blue or any of those other albums, it's a little bit more difficult, but I'm thinking about it. So I decided I would go ahead and get the most recent um, cards just as kind of like a starting point. Because if I want to collect them, it'll be easier, you know, if I just can get what I can get now. But anyway, let's move on to Itzy. Um, plus Chunga is also coming out with a new album soon, so... That should be exciting. So here, I only have two Itzy cards. So I managed to get the Yeji with like the black border. And then Yeji and Yuna. So Itzy, unfortunately, has been um, my like struggle group because I've ordered a lot of these cards and either the seller can't send them because of the coronavirus or they have been getting marked as delivered, but like not actually delivered in my mailbox. So I'm like really struggling this time to like get all the cards I need. Um, so for region, I'm only missing one card, the region and um, Yuna card, which I think, or not Yuna, um, region and Charon card, which actually got marked as delivered and was not actually in my mailbox. Same thing with um, Yeji and region that also got marked as delivered, but is not in my mailbox. Um, and I think the other two Yeji cards, I think I ordered them from someone in South Korea, so obviously they're going to take a while to get here, but I can be patient for that. I'm just annoyed because I've ordered a few cards that have been, like, marked as delivered because my mailman keeps, like, completely fucking up my mail. Um, anyway, I'm tired of ranting about that, so I think that's it for this hour, for this, uh, binder. So let's move into BTS. I don't have any album... Card, so I don't know why I brought that binder out here, but whatever. Um, I do have other BTS cards. I'll show you like the groupings of them as I put them away. So we can start with HYH on stage because I think that'll be the first card. So I have the Namjoon card for 
um, BTS Live on stage. And then I'm filming this on the day that they had like the online concert. So actually I watched this concert earlier today. Like actually it was last night. It was on at 11 p.m. Um, but East Coast people got so screwed with the timings for the concert. So I was able to watch um, all of HYH on stage. And then I fell asleep during the epilogue. And then I woke back up just in time for like the end of Third Muster. So I missed Red Bullet, which Red Bullet was the one I wanted to watch the most, but it came on at like 4 a.m. So here are the epilogue cards that I got. So I got Jin. I got Jimin. And Jungkook. So the Red Bullet was the concert I actually wanted to watch because I've never seen that one before. I've seen all of the other concerts that they're going to be showing in um, their little bang. It's like bang bang con. It's like you pronounce them differently. Um, so I'm a little bit bummed that I missed the Red Bullet. I mean, I, obviously I could find it online if I really wanted to, but I just kind of wanted to like experience the live streaming aspect of it with like other people on Twitter and stuff. Um, but I had a really fun time watching the HOH live on stage because that's one of my favorite concerts. Um, so now the only card I'm missing for the epilogue is Namjoon. And that's coming from Spain. And I think Spain is not sending mail to the US right now. So that is why that's taking a while. And then for normal HYH on stage, Jimin is coming from South Korea, and the per the seller said she dropped it off at the post office like a while ago, but it hasn't made any updates in tracking, so I think they're still holding on to it at the post office. And then with Hobie, I think it's a similar situation where it's from South Korea and it's not really made any movement because I think they haven't just they like are not sending mail that frequently from South Korea right now. Um, but anyway, so I'm making pretty good progress on these DVD cards, and hopefully we can start getting some in the mail soon from South Korea and Japan. But other than that, I did start buying um, the Blu-ray cards for Love Yourself in New York and Love Yourself in Europe. So I have, I'll show you all of them. So this is New York and Europe, like, kind of combined. So here's Jin. I think this is New York, yeah. So this is New York. And then Hobie, also New York. I've been trying to order these from US sellers so I can get, like actually get them and not have to wait three months. Um, so this is Taeyang from Europe, or no, from New York. I can't read. Um, so I ordered, I think, all, all three of these from US sellers, which is why they came in the mail. Um, and then we got Yoongi, this is Europe, yeah. And Hobie, Europe. Jim in Europe, and then Jungkook Europe. Yeah, so like I was saying, I'm trying to get these cards from US sellers, um, so I don't have to wait forever. But for Jimin, the Jimin New York card, oops, that's wrong. The Jimin New York card, um, I could only find a seller from Japan and they can't send it to the US right now, which I'm, I get like conflicting information from the sellers on eBay because I order stuff from one seller and they send it to me like no issue and it comes, you know, like it's slower than normal but it still gets to my house. And then I order stuff from other sellers and it like, they either won't send it, they can't send it, or when they send it, it just sits in like the tracking number provided for like five weeks. So I don't really know what's up. I mean, obviously the coronavirus is like affecting everything, but like, it's just weird how like some sellers can still sell me the stuff and other ones are like not able to. But anyway, here are the Europe cards. So these cards are all like really expensive. Especially like if you want to buy from a US seller, I feel like it's always more expensive than if you can buy from like a South Korean seller, but whatever. Those are all the cards, so obviously I'm gonna be working on this and waiting patiently. I think the only card I haven't bought is the Jimin um, New York card, just because I can only find that Japanese seller who would not sell it to me. So I guess we just kind of have to be patient with that. But the last thing that I purchased was actually something that's like unique and different for me. Um, so normally I never purchase these kind of cards. I'll, get, I'll show them to you. So. Normally I never purchase these kind of cards. These are the um, Magic Shop, um, like the one of eight 
cards that they always do for each of the like concerts and stuff. So I never buy these just because each member has like eight cards so I would only really be able to collect one member so I would collect Jimin and it's just like it just seems like a hassle <laughs> honestly like it seems really expensive and a lot of the times honestly I don't even really like the way these cards look like especially for like love yourself like they were really just kind of boring cards like I from what I remember they were all just kind of like in front of like a white background so like no, I just didn't really care to collect these, but um, I really like the aesthetic they went for with Magic Shop, so with their fifth muster this last year. Um, so I went and I bought a little pack that they were selling on um, Webly, Weply, whatever, Weaver Shop, whatever they freaking rebranded themselves as. Um, and so I just got the collection that comes with like one of each member. Um, and I, I'm not going to trade them or anything, I'm just going to kind of keep whoever I pulled. Um, but I really like the aesthetics, and I like that they weren't just, like, in front of a white background for the most part. So I went ahead and bought them. But anyway, that's enough about that. So here's the Namjoon one I pulled. So I got one of eight. And then Jin. I think one of eight. Yoongi. Six of eight. And then Hobie. Five of eight. And then Jimin. Three of eight. Young, four of eight, and then Jungkook, two of eight. And then I got this unit shot of Young, Jimin, Yoongi, and Namjoon. And this was six of eight, yeah, so six of eight. So I got those, and then I also actually got um, some eight pocket sleeves so I could put them away. And when I did that, I also rearranged, um, for the people that like care about how my binder is set up, I also rearranged how I have the army bomb photo cards. So I have all of these now in this eight pocket sleeve instead of being in the four pocket sleeve because that was just kind of obnoxious. Um, and I have them going down this way, which I'm not sure if I like having them go down or if I want to do like that, but that's what I have it like for right now. And then I will guess I will put these away. So yeah, like I said, I don't think I'm going to do anything with these. Um, I'm just going to enjoy what I pulled. Um, I think again, I'm just gonna kind of go down with them. But this eight pocket sleeve, it like, it's like tight. Like it like is right on the edge of not being big enough for these kind of cards, but they fit in there just right. But yeah, there's the, um, the new army bomb just got released recently, but I don't think I can purchase it yet in the US. I think it was only for South Korean addresses, so I'm gonna wait until they release it. I wasn't gonna buy it at all, but then I saw some like videos of it and I kind of like it. Um, and I really like the photo cards it comes with, they're all really cute. So I'm like low-key, like half buying it for the photo cards, half buying it because I like the, um, the, the light stick itself. Because honestly, like if I tried to buy the cards separately, it would end up being almost the same price as like just getting the light stick with the cards. <laughs> but anyway, so there, are my Magic Shop 5th Muster cards. I think that specifically this is like the 5th Muster in Japan cards, so the normal Korean 5th Muster cards I think are a different color on the back and the pictures are slightly different, but that's what I pulled. And then I also got a little lenticular postcard set. So I will show you guys these. So the first unit is Jungkook, Jin, and Hobi. So let's see if we can show the, there we go, there we go. <laughs> so it's changing. And then um, we have Yoongi, Namjoon, Jimin, and Taeyong. They don't really, like, they barely move. Like, I think Jimin's head's the only thing that moves, really, so it's hard to, like, tell. But anyway, so I got both of those. I think these were not, these were like the only two they made. It wasn't like a random situation. Um, but yeah, I just really like the aesthetic they had for um, the muster this year. So I went ahead and bought some of the things that I kind of normally don't buy. But we'll see. I mean, I'm talking, but maybe I will actually start collecting this kind of stuff. Who knows? Anyway, that is everything that I got today, I think. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will try and be back soon with another one and I will talk to you guys later.